I like your name. Now, in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. My Lord is in three folks. And we have a song that says, God is We have God the Father, God the Son, and then, oh, and then, I said, we have God the Father, God the Son, and then, most of us are wrong, God the Father. Most of us will want God the Son be. In fact, in this season, most people are celebrating the birth of God the Son. Amen. 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 But sometimes, as Christians, we lose track of who God the Spirit is. We lose track of the function of God the Spirit. We pray in the name of Jesus, and we pray. Lord, I ask God, how many times have we involved the Holy Spirit? In our day to be the activity. Most of us will not pray the Son is as real as God the Father. The Holy Spirit is as real as God the Son. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Today our message is entitled The Promised Holy Spirit for Experts. The Promised Holy Spirit for Experts. We know what the promise is. When someone gives you a promise, you expect that the person will be swear. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And here lies the case where it is no mean person who has given this promise. It is not. Amen. His words are yea and amen. Child of God, once you have confessed Jesus Christ as the Lord and personal Savior, there is a power that is working in you. Now the only person who can play that power is you. Amen. Amen. I said it's who? It's you. One of our brothers was telling us um, a story of his own life and then he said he went to a place and someone wanted to intimidate him. Amen. <laughs> Have you been intimidated before? The person just came out and said, hey, you are not aware that people are dying. You know that God should serve. The person was asking those questions. Do you know that God said, our brother looked at him and said, Oh, I'm not worried. You serve the me. I serve the head of all principalities. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. He said, I serve the head of what? All principalities. Then our brother looked at him and said, Oh, one day will not meet me. You, if tomorrow meet you, then it's not me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't go first. Uh, uh, uh. There is power beyond power. And when you believe in the God that you said, I'm not saying that you go out there, you are not prepared. It is not by word of mouth. It is knowing whom you said. And I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Before I move on, I'd like to retrace once again the story of Catherine Coleman. She's a woman in the Bible who was full of the Holy Spirit. She called the Holy Spirit her, her all in all. Like the way a woman or a girl will fall in love with a man or, or a boy, that is the way she has fallen in love with the Holy Spirit. And when she's coming to pray, she will tell you that, don't help him, he is all that I have. Because the woman was so full of the Holy Spirit, that when she's going to have a crusade, there will be no way for her to pass through the front door. Because people are waiting. Hallelujah. People who wait in the snow, as if they are going for cross-country racing. They are waiting in the snow, freezing. And when the door is stopping, and they are running into the auditorium, if you fall, you die. Because everyone will walk on you. Hallelujah. So, Coleman had no other option than to pass through the kitchen. Amen. She will pass through the kitchen. Amen. And as she's walking through the kitchen, the suspense will be falling down. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The anointing can affect even inanimate objects. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, when you are filled with the Holy Ghost, you are not a common man. Amen. 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 The Bible says that you will be made like unto another man. You have changed. They will meet you and then they will ask you, are you the same person? Are you the daughter of so-so? Ah, are you the one we met in that 
just I'm the one. Hallelujah. Some will say she's the one. Others will say no, she's not the one. That some will say oh, this one is more handsome. Others will say oh, this one is more beautiful. You are the one. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But well, this one speaks better English than the one we know. You are the one. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But you don't know that uh, the only thing we can keep is the gift of tongues. You don't know. You don't know. Oh, I'll tell you a story as you go along. Amen. Amen. Provided I don't forget. Amen. Amen. I will not. Acts chapter 1. I said the promised Holy Spirit for experts. Might, marvelous, magnificent. For experts. Acts chapter 1. The barrel. Acts chapter 1. So Acts tells us of the experts. Yes, the Lord, to the things I will. Come and look, check the one which is for this. Yeah, we don't find it. Acts chapter 1, verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, is it my ch- now that this time we saw again the kingdom of Israel, and he said unto them, It is not mm-hmm. for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power. But ye shall receive power. This is the most important thing. Hallelujah. Amen. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Hallelujah. No, I can't say it again. Hallelujah. Yeah. So you see, these people were asking Jesus Christ, will the kingdom be restored for us? Ah, these were the Jews. They were looking for a savior. They were looking for a Messiah. And their idea of a savior and a messiah is somebody to come and give them political liberation. Amen. Because by then they were under the Roman Empire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So they were thinking that Jesus Christ will come with a sword, riding on a horse. And when he comes, we'll come and defeat the Roman Empire and then the Jews will reign. And Jesus said that's not the most important thing. Sometimes we argue a lot in the Bible. We argue about things that are not consequential to either entering into heaven or going into hell. Jesus one day preached and he said that look, let us not concentrate on the non-essential things. Amen. Amen. Somebody said that and Eve in the Bible, what she ate, it was apple. Another person says, it is not apple, it is orange. Another person says, no, 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 it is not a fruit, it is another thing. And they can sit all their life. Whether it is apple or no apple, would that take you to heaven or not? Would that work miracles for you? Jesus was telling them that the most important thing you should be concentrating on is the fact that there is the promise of the power. Amen. 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 You need to possess power. You need to tread and trample over snakes and serpents and scorpions and every work of the death. You need to be able to do that. So be fruitful and multiply. We need to dominate over the other thing that God has spoken. That is your position in Christ. Amen. And you can't do that without the move of the Holy Spirit to do. What is that your faith? Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. Daniel. Daniel 11, verse 2. Daniel 11, verse 22. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by black. But the people that don't know their God shall be well strong and shall do exploit. Hallelujah. But the people who know their God, do you know your God? Do you know your God? Our brother who was trying, who was being intimidated by this man, he told him that look, I serve the God. I serve the head of all principalities. And the guy was sure. I was thinking that he was selling some dragon with three heads, so he was also afraid. Hallelujah. But God, our God, our Jesus, our Holy Spirit is the head of our principalities. So whichever shrine they go to, our God is the head over there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wherever they mention your name, your God is supreme. Amen. That is the God that you say. You need to know him. Since those who know their God, they shall be strong. So the disciples of Christ ask a very serious question. I will explain that. Is power coming to us? 
they are talking about producing alcohol. They are talking about uh, doing a winter and having cool guitar and, and, and being in power. They are throwing out their oppressors. Now that is not the kind of kingdom that Jesus was praying in. Amen. The power to reign in life will be given to them. They would receive the power to be effective witness for him in Jerusalem and to the uttermost part of the earth. That is the kind of power that Jesus is promising us to be. The power to subdue all opposition to the Great Commission. And what is the Great Commission? It's for us to go out there and preach. Are you not realizing that of late? It seems that preaching the gospel is difficult. Two or more. Two or more. Are you not realizing that of late? It seems like preaching the gospel is a pain. It's like Old Testament. It's like what they see you preaching like when you hear some stuff. It's like you can go instead of going to sit down and read biology, chemistry, archaeology, zoology, and things. You are sitting here talking about Bible. But if the power is there, amen. And you preach and something happens, they will realize that you are wiser than they are in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So, let me tell you a story of what the power of God can do. There was this soldier in the army. And you know, these people in the army, it's only just a few that are God fearing, right? Because they believe that the profession they are taking, they can die at any moment. Amen. So they need to enjoy life through a force. Yes. So there was this young recruit soldier who was bold enough to profess that he's a child of God. He's a Christian. Amen. I don't know whether you're bold enough to profess that you're a Christian before your friends in the house, before your mates, at the place of work. With some of us, we hide it. Jesus died for you openly. You don't live for him in secret. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Because if Jesus had died in secret, you have known that a Savior had died for you. You wouldn't have known. Amen. Amen. So this young soldier, they were ridiculing him, laughing at him, and his God. And then they told him, you know, in the army, everybody and their work they do. Some of them will, will, will drive the armored vehicle, some of them will launch uh, missiles, others are snipers, whatever. Some of them, special. F- so he was there, and one of the commanders called him and said, hey, don't come here. Then he, he went. And he said, okay, now, enter into the armored car. You know an armored car? Yes. Yes, you know that. He doesn't go out to drive. That was not his school. Hallelujah. But he said, enter and drive. If you are able to drive from where it is to just this place, I will accept your call. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. He has not been here before. We need to wait no They are telling him that if your God knows everything. Amen. If your God is all powerful, hallelujah. If you are saying that the God you are serving can do all things, amen. Amen. So this guy entered, amen. Then he sat behind, amen. Amen. Then he spat, amen. Amen. Then he started moving, hallelujah. He started moving, hallelujah. It moved, then he got to the place, then he came out, amen. Amen. He has not been here before. When he came out from the armored vehicle, the commander was feeling down, crying. He was feeling down. He has raised his hand. He was crying. Then he said, Ah, but what is happening? All the soldiers were crying. Then he asked them, Ah, but what is happening? Then he said, Look, we are not crying because you moved the car or the armored car. No. We are crying because the other car you just moved has no engine. Hallelujah. And he did it through. And the power. Hallelujah. We said the name of God. Hallelujah. God can do wonderful things through you and I. It doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter your height. It doesn't matter your intellect. I'm telling you, when the Holy Spirit is in you, you are an uncommon man in Jesus' name. Amen. You are an uncommon woman in Jesus' name. Amen. So it takes spiritual power after the Holy Ghost baptism to do the exploits. God. It takes that spiritual power. When that power comes from God, when that power comes, insecurity will be gone. Sometimes you are 
there and you are afraid. You are only afraid of tomorrow. You are afraid of what will happen in the next phase of your life. But if you have the naked God and if you have the Holy Spirit, all these things shall pass in Jesus' name. And you shall receive what? Oh, and you shall receive what? And I pray that you receive it in Jesus' name. Right to number one, the promise of power for exploits. I told you what the promise is. And when a human being promises you, you will expect that that human will do what? Will fulfill the promise, true or false? How much more God? The God whose words are yea and amen. The God whose words do not fail. He says, I have promised you. Joel chapter 2, verse 28 to 30. Joel chapter 2, verse 28 to 30. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Amen? Amen. 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 And your sons and your daughters shall do what? They shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. If this thing is there, you don't need to run helter skelter to perform the houses to one professor when yes, they are there. They are there, they are good. But you see, the old men, your mom in the house, your dad in the house, who be saying what? Who be saying what? Who would dream dreams? So I dreamt that my child, you we were here. God will show them things about you, show them things about the family, and the family will work. Amen. 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 When you are talking with them, they will tell you things that God is telling them. The pastors we have in the church, eh? when, you, when you meet them before you meet, you are a different person. Hallelujah. That was how we to look at the uh, explanation we were giving up. Jesus went and rolled out the prophets and after that, when the man was preaching, things were happening. Hallelujah. That is what we need in our midst. And you will see visions. Some of us, we are, we are more blind than the mouth. Hallelujah. We have never taken any decision with God giving us a vision before. It's right and error. If it works, it works. That's it, but now okay, so it's God was not the God of it. No! You can look before you start. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray that you have that spirit in Jesus. It is a promise. Let's jump to Acts chapter 2. Study. Acts chapter 2, verses 39. Acts 2, verse 39. Acts 2, verse 39. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off. Even as many as the Lord our God shall come. And yesterday I was telling the brother, don't give me something on the Holy Ghost. You see, they say the promise is unto you and to your children. It means as you sit here, the Holy Spirit is in your genes. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. If you fail to use it, your children will come and use it. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you use it, it will not finish. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I was telling some of my students that you see those of you who are joking and playing in school and you are giving your parents a lot of time. And your children are going to become a hallelujah. And you want to say, you can change, you There are certain things when you do and you continue to do, it becomes part of your genes. You need to give that to your children and your children will be glad that you are amen. So amen. amen. So if you want your children to be praying, pray now. If some people say me, I don't like maths. Please, learn small. If you don't like maths at all, learn small. Because if you don't learn at all, your children start coming. Hallelujah. Pray something change. Amen. So that when your children start coming, you will meet something that are broken. Already. Then they will fly. Okay? If you are crawling, they will do what? They will walk. If you are walking, they will run. If you are running, they will fly. Amen. 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 If you are flying, oh, they will run. They will run. Hallelujah. You see, let's put something, let's make, let's work with the Holy Spirit. Sometimes it is not your working things academically. Yes, go to school. Don't, don't give up. But sometimes, when you add the Holy Spirit to the whole thing, 
it makes a difference. Amen. 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 The God give the grace in Jesus' name. Amen. So this is the promise power. Promise. This is, however, not for every home, thing, and home. We are all creatures of God. That's it. But we are not all children of God. To be a child of God, you need to have accepted our Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord, Lord, as our Savior. Hallelujah. To be a child of God, you need to have been born again. So you can't just wake up early in the morning and go to someone's house and call somebody's father, da, 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 I'm hungry. If you don't get a slap, you get another thing. Hallelujah. Amen. Like this boy who was sleeping. Slap and says, I'm going to go your, your sleep is not good at all. Slap and slap and slap. When the mother go, go and sleep, then the boy stood up. Then you walk to another person's door, knock on their door, and look at the bed. Yeah. It is somebody else's room. It is a place to sleep. I was going to come and sleep, so I was coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You need to have vision. Amen. 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 The Holy Spirit is for a purpose. You can only ask for the Holy Spirit if you are a child. When a woman came to Jesus Christ, asking for healing, Jesus Christ said that what? It is not lawful to give the children's bread to God. So the bread is for the children. So the Holy Spirit is the bread. To qualify for the bread, you need to be a child. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So please, if you are here and you are not yet a child, you are confused whether you are a child or not. I need you to come back to Christ. I need you to affirm and confess and be sure in your spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have confessed your sins, you are a child of God. Don't allow the devil to close them. I will seek with you. Are you sure that God has said? He has said. Amen. Amen. The God that we said, His ears are not down. Amen. Amen. So if indeed you have prayed, you have confessed Him, you have given your sin, I am telling you, He has saved you. Amen. Amen. It doesn't matter the color of your sins. Hallelujah. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So the promise power. And I've told you, the power comes with purpose. The purpose is for us to go out there and preach. Amen. Amen. It's to go out there and do good unto others. When we were young, when we go to school, and your mother, like this Christmas, they are on holiday, your mother has got toy car for you. Toy car. Or football. When you go to school, the following meeting, or the following day, you want all your friends to see them, it's either you are going to do issue like that. That day you cross your leg by heart. Okay? Or you go into your bag, then you bring out the toy or the football. You just want somebody to see that you have something to do and something nice. Like. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore, you cannot receive the Holy Spirit and hide. You want people to know that come, come, come and see, come and see. Come and see. The last time we were going to write the exam, you know what happened. I was just sleeping and I saw that I was writing the exam. When I woke up, I went back and I checked the questions I was seeing. When I entered into the exam room, they told me to. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you, when you do this, and then the next exam, you tell your friend, oh my friend, what are you like? Okay, you learn this and put this one will come. And then it comes. Then you tell your friend, you need the Holy Spirit. You see this one? One thing you see. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is because this is the devil's war. 
But if you see, we the Christians, we are the antivirus. Hallelujah. Amen. With the Holy Ghost, we are the antivirus. Amen. Amen. The devil and the Satan, they are viruses. You are the antivirus. Amen. Amen. In fact, we are the remedy to the malady of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are the cure to the disease of the world. Amen. Amen. And to, to, to stand in that position, you need the Holy Ghost. May God baptize you in Jesus' name. May God baptize you in Jesus' name. Amen. The minister had uh, other foreign ministers in his house. And when they woke up at dawn, he had a noise. He was sleeping at the top. And then the visitors were down. Not knowing how Robert had entered into the house. Hallelujah. Hey, come and kneel down. Bring the money. He didn't hear. So when he was coming down, some people want to say, I'm Robert in the house of God. I'm Robert in my house. I used to love that he started coming down. Hallelujah. I love it when you love your bedroom door. Hallelujah. He started descending. When he descended down, when the arm went back, he just pointed at them. Hey, come here. Help me. In the name of God. Yeah, and then they all run away. <laughs> come on, it's fine. He said, I'm not going to that level. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> We have levels and we have levels. Hallelujah. Amen. But you see, when you are confident of the power that is working in you, you don't think that uh, they look crazy in the sight of people. But in the sight of God, everything is correct. That's why the Bible says that the things of the Spirit are like foolishness to get that perfect courage. You don't see any reason in it. But you, the one who is getting life, you see a reason in it, you go help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Prophet Idahosa. What happened to this man? One day, all witches council of Nigeria or wherever, of Africa, they said they were going to have a meeting in Nigeria. Then, it also was asked, would this meeting come up? He said, no, it did not come up. Then this man was invited, he the one who said was the chairman of the was invited to a radio station. And he invited this man to a prophet that was already he went. After we were talking, then he also looked at the man and he said, No, I am telling you. You say you are a witch, right? He said, Yes. I am telling you, you are not a witch. And the man was standing there. So I am telling you, you are not a witch. Are you a witch? And the man said, I am asking, Are you a witch? He sat there and he said, No. He said, Pet. If you are standing here, which like you don't live here alive. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is what cancel the meeting. Because the chairman says it's not a witch. So when you put your hand in Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, when the power is in you, it's glorious. You'll be another man. Now, this man is going to be here. He went to his hometown. What he went there was one mad man. Amen. Nobody can stop him. Nobody can tell him. Nobody can control him. He was causing chaos everywhere. Ah, when the man of God came out and said, ah, what is happening to that man? He said, this man is wild. He has been destroying things. He has been doing Say, catch him. Hallelujah. He said, what? Catch him. What they caught him is they put him into my car. Then they opened his car. Then they put him inside the prison. And the man became quiet. Then I said, man, how did you do it? He said, look, he won't get this in my car. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. He said, no demon can exist in my car. By the time the man was moved out of the car, he was a normal man. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May God give you that anointing in Jesus' name. Now so this young brother, young man, who was also so prayerful in his room, one day, he was not in the room. He always goes to the room. Always goes to the room. One day, he traveled. His mother said, I am going to sweep his room. When the mother opened the door and entered, something pushed her out. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The anointing was out. Amen. The mother the mother was a witch. But the anointing inside the room was out. Amen. Amen. His brother too. He said, I am holy. I am righteous. But his mother did not understand that holiness thing. So one day he was there, and then a sister came to visit. Late at night, then the sister said, oh, I was struggling on that, I was moving, 
it is not. So I just came and called your friend, mother, as, as a good mother. Oh, you had a visitor. Uh, uh, get to your room so that uh, she will sleep in your room. And then, uh, wherever you like, you can sleep. So it's two things. It's that you also sleep in the room, or you sleep wherever. And uh, mother was trying to be hospitable. Sometimes you should be careful. Then the mother said, Ma, she can't sleep in the room. The mother said, you are not accommodating at all. Mother talked and talked and talked to the And the boy left the room. Then the visitor entered into the room. The boy came to the living room. As he was sleeping, midnight, the girl took her things. And she said she was good. Hallelujah. 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 She could not sleep in the room. There has been fire. Fire. Fire has been lit up in the room. You need to create an environment around yourself. Amen. Amen. Even the seat you sit on, when somebody comes to sit on it, when the person is sitting, the person should be home. When the person has a penis, when the person should realize that I'm sitting at the rock place. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And all these things are working. And God will help us to do that in Jesus' name. So the, this promise is also up to you. And remember, God will never lie. Two of all. That is the number of the things in the time. Point number two. The purpose of power for export. Why the meat? Why the meat? Why should we ask for power? Why should we ask for the Holy Ghost baptism? I'm a Christian, that is all right. I'm born again, that is all right. I am not sinning, that is all right. I read my Bible, I go to church. Why should I force myself for Holy Ghost baptism? Look at that. Let's open to Mark chapter 16, 15 to 20. Mark chapter 16, 15 to 20. Mark 16, 15 to 20. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. At this time, shall follow them that will be in my name. Shall they cast out devils? They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. If they drink any deadly thing, they shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Amen? Amen. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven, and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached every man. The Lord working with them, Confirming the word with signs for Amen. Amen. So this is the purpose. That we should go and win so. I'm telling you, some people will not get converted until they have seen something, until they have experienced something, until they have met something. One of our brothers went to the north, and then over there we have this radical Muslims over there. There is no way you're going to preach to them for them to listen. Hallelujah. Amen. So what happens? They are difficult to put. Something will happen to them, they will fall sick. When they fall sick, then they will go to all their manners. They will get to work. They will do all their incantations. They will not get to work. So they will find. This is now life and death. If I stay here, I will die. If I go there to I may die or I may not die. Then we will bring them to the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And some small prayer, then they are well. Amen. Amen. Then they will start bringing all their family members to church. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Seven things must move but by seven. I will sit there for you. The Lord will help us to see this in Jesus' name. The one who is eating the chips. So this is the need to that. show. It is not to show evil. That I am praying tongues, or I can do this, and I can do that. No, that is not the purpose. Of the Holy Spirit, I have already told you the devil is to go and do what? Wait to save them. Amen. He waits our words with power to penetrate even the heart, the most happy heart. We are praying to somebody. The person is not giving me. You are not the Holy Spirit to change the person. If you have the Holy Spirit, you just speak to the person. Go and sit The Bible says that when the words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Amen. When you finish speaking, when you are sleeping, it will be written. Amen. When you are walking in the matter, it will be written. Amen. Amen. Whatever they do, what you are saying, it will be written. Need money? And so they get the question. Take out your phone. Jesus name. You make $100. Wow. So they, my PayPal so so really received $100. Thank you. Do you need money? Sure. I need money to pay the rent. Take out your phone. Now, 
Isaiah chapter 44, verses 3 to 5. For so I will pour water upon him, that is thirsty, and flat upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, and my blessings upon thy offspring, and they shall spring up as among the grass, as wheels by the water courses. One shall say, I am the Lord, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord, and send on himself by the name of Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it means you call your first name and add Israel. Call your first name and add God of Israel. Hallelujah. So some people call themselves an Isaac of God. That's what I'm I come from God. I am rooted in God. So if you think you know my family background, you're lost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you think you know my limit, you are lost. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So this is it. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with all the time and the Spirit gave them Hey, two CD or? How do we put it? Who gave it to you? Two CD as well as you can again. Give me that one and take some more. We need to go. I explained to you that the promise is unto the children. Amen. The power of God needs to the anointing of the Son. Amen. So first, you get to the point of faith. Why do you go? From sin. Second, number two. You need to be consecrated. Consecrated. Why do you step and go? Yield your all on the altar in total surrender to Jesus. Consecrate. All unto Jesus I surrender. All of him I truly him. I will never love a person. In his service and in his presence I will be. Hallelujah. Where are the people? In his presence I will be. Surrender all. Surrender all unto him. Now, the third one. Be thirsty for the baptism of power and fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have been thirsty before, and I give you a bottle of Coke, when you finish drinking, you will still be thirsty. Hallelujah. Oh, you have not tried it. You have not tried it. If you are thirsty, and I give you um, hot chocolate tea, right? When you finish drinking, you will still be thirsty. So when we talk about thirst, we are talking about you need something. And it is that thing alone that can make you stop looking. Amen. 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 And until you receive that thing, you are not done looking and you will not stop looking. Amen. Amen. That is testing. You know we have come and in 15 minutes, ah, bro, 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 we finish. Only you have go, you boy will remember. After the next retreat, then you will say, hey, this only goes in. Uh, the last time it was like when I was playing, it was coming. He didn't finish up with this one. No. It should be your daily prayer. Amen. When you are walking in the street, you are asking for it. When you are going to church, you are asking for it. When you are praying praise and worship, that is what you are asking for. And so what? You will see. The God give us thy grace in Jesus' name. Believe the promise is for you. And God cannot lie. Amen. Believe the promise is for you. It's for you. And God cannot do what? He cannot lie. God cannot lie. So once he has promised you, he will give it to you. And finally, ask him to
when you open your mouth and say, Father, I am sorry for this. I am sorry for doing that. I am going astray and I am coming back unto you. Receive me as your child once again. Wash me from all these sins and then write my name in the book of life. Henceforth, I am for you. Say, God, I want to tell you that I am no longer yours. I am for the Lord and you have nothing in me. Open your mouth and pray. If you pray this prayer, I am telling you that heaven has recorded that you are a child of God. When the devil is accusing you, God will refer him to this very day. God will refer him to this very time. Now, didn't you remember? Can't you remember? Look at him. Look at her. She prayed. She said it. She asked for forgiveness. And I did forgive. Amen. Open your mouth and pray. You need to watch yourself and get to the portion and get to the position where you are bound to receive. Open your mouth. 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 When you open your mouth, there is power in words. When you open that that's what the Bible says that confess. If you will confess with your mouth, if you confess, that is if when you confess, that power that is holding you down, you break it. That's why the devil tries to keep you shut. He keeps you mute. And the more you try to hide it, the more you enter into the sin. The more you, you do the evil thing. When you try to hide it, but when you open your mouth and you confess and you say it, then the devil says, Ah, now that God has had, God has forgiven him. Now that God has had, God has forgiven him. What else can I use to tie him down? Open your mouth. When the words come out, you pray the chains. Open your mouth and pray. We are praying. We are praying. The Bible says that the anointing, when the anointing, the yoke shall be broken. We are praying, Holy Spirit, to come down, to come into our life. We need you now for a purpose. For a purpose. That others will see my life and believe in my God. That others will see my life and accept my God. And that is why I need the Holy Spirit. That when I speak to people about salvation, they will understand and they will come to my eyes. Open your mouth and pray. The Bible says that in those times, people shall hold you by your skin. And they shall say that we want to serve your God. We want to take us to your God. We want to serve it. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. You will not live here empty handed. You won't live here as you came in Jesus' name. You won't live here as you came in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. You won't leave me as you go in Jesus' name. Bound or pressed, tormented, sleep all day. For the Holy Ghost of us is still the same. Thank you. 
bring the spirit down. We are praying for you. You make it right. You make it go. You remind you of all that you need to be reminded of. That is the power of the Holy Spirit. You are bold enough to speak the truth and to tell the truth. You have no fear of man. You have fear. But only God, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Ask the Lord God to pass you down. God is passing. God on others is calling. Let it not pass you down. You are here. You are here. You are here. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, we are going to pray that the power of the Holy Spirit will affect every aspect of your life. Amen. We are praying that the power of the Holy Spirit, the manifestation of the Holy Spirit, will affect every aspect of your life. Open your mouth and pray. You know the aspect of your life. Your family life, your academic life, your financial life, your soul winning, your work of God, your ministry, marriage, everything, the Holy Spirit should manifest the people of God. And the Holy Spirit anointing to affect every aspect of life. I want to hear you pray.